Hello and welcome. This is Kara and I have a new kit share today. Um, and this one kind of happened by accident. <laughs> I was working in, in Rachel's here really quick, my journal and I was flipping through and I thought, you know, I need more pockets and journaling cards. So other than just using cards like that, I was thinking it would be really nice to have more pockets that I could put tags in. So, and then I was thinking, oh, a while back, probably eight or nine months ago, um, I was watching, I don't know how to say it, but Shinoki Art, her YouTube channel, and she was making um, index cards, and I have a couple here, that kind of look like this, this style, these are index cards, and I, of course, thought, oh my gosh, I want to do rainbow index cards. And at the time, I had no idea what I was going to do with them. So I made three of each color. Um, I made some red ones. And it's um, there's inking and stamping and very similar to her style. I just used, you know, the bits and things that I have in my stash. Like here's a stamp and some thread. Um, some hearts, <laughs> book page that I put on, and then some tabs, doily, scraps, scraps of fabric, that one's fun, tickets. So anyway, I made a bunch, three of each color, and then I just kind of stuck them away. <laughs> and then I fast forward to the other day when I was working in my journal and I thought, man, I'd really want some pockets. And then I remembered, oh yeah, I made, oh, let's find yellow since we're in the yellow journal, these index cards and look how perfect it will fit. And then I can have a tuck spot for a tag. Perfect. And then after that, I thought, oh, I could scan these and maybe other people are wanting pockets as well. And maybe they're not wanting to get out all of their mixed media stuff. <laughs> they just want to either have their uh, scan and cut, cut them out or sit in front of the TV and do some fussy cutting and then have their own mixed media style without the mess kind of um, pockets or tags. And then... These could be pockets and tags. They could still be journaling cards, etc. So I did it. I made this little kit. This has six pages for all the um, colors of the rainbow. I scanned all of my cards. And then I did a Google search and I found words that um, are associated with that color. Um, and there's a couple times I noticed I repeated them. But I feel like the words that I repeated will still work. Um, but so for red, I have airmail, roses, change, love, friends, wish, lovely, wonderful. And then some just generic words if you wanted to use bits and pieces in like a planner. Remember this, cherish, wonder, and wishes. And also if you're using your journal for memory keeping, things like remember this are really good. And then there's some other bits and pieces that match the color. Each one of them have butterflies, and then depending what I could find that matched and I had space for, <laughs> um, then there's pieces. So here's the red, and here's the orange, let me show you. Look how cool. I mean, it looks like there's dimension from this, right, on here, but it's really just the scan. It's really, really cool. And joy, warmth, enthusiastic, creative, fun, happiness, balance, vibrant. I think goes really well with orange. Today, write it down, joyful, date, to do, adventure, and let's go. So this one has a button and a stamp and then more butterflies. And here's the yellow. Things like sunshine, lemons, sunflowers. Another button and then another stamp and more butterflies. And then this is the green. I had to add a cactus to represent Arizona <laughs> in the kit. And there's more butterflies, things like calm, nature, health, things that go with green. And, oh wait, am I out of order? Yes. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue. There we go. 
well, here's blue. Now I'm just going to say purple. Determined, inspired, renewed, motivated. Um, a little tag and a ticket and then more butterflies. And here's purple. Magic, mystery, splendor. And then I added a crown and royal garden because when I think of purple, I think of royalty. <laughs> so yeah, so there's six different pages in the kit and really fun. I think this will be a great addition to the rainbow kits that I recently listed. And here, let me show you. These are what they look like all cut out. So here's all the little bits and I kind of tried to keep my red together. And here it is. And then what I was thinking, you could just put, you know, your butterfly, of course, anything you want, but like your butterfly and then the button. And let's see, like a word. And then it's simple. You have it all glued, glue it down and you can stick it in your book. Here, let's make a yellow one since I have my yellow signature right here. And here's the orange. Orange looks yellowish until you get to yellow and you're like, oh yeah, that's definitely yellow. Let's see which tab, which way I want the tab to go. So I think this is a great page in my journal. Let's see. Yeah, let's do that one. This is a good one. And then I printed this on heavy cardstock, so it's pretty thick as it is. It would also be cool on the side, like this, where the tab's sticking out. And then you could have it as a tuck that way. Um, you could back it with an index card, and then it would look just like an index card and be perfect for journaling. So many ideas. <laughs> All right, so let's use that one. And my glue. Oh, here. So I have our page. Let's add some decoration. I might want to do a little ink around the edge. Just to kind of cover up where I wasn't perfect with my fussy cutting. And let's see, let's do the button. And then, oh, oh yeah, 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 with the buttons, I tried to make them so that a one inch punch would work. You still have a little bit on the outside. And then um, there's also little bits that will, this is a quarter inch. Is that right? Yeah, I think so. A quarter inch punch will also cut out the smaller buttons. So I tried to get it so that the sizing would work for that. All right, I like that. And then let's see. I'm gonna glue this on. I think I wanna keep it so that, <laughs> me and my glue, ooh, so that the uh, butterfly's wings can kind of stay up. And then stick this behind. And let's see which word. So these are some of the yellow words. Happy, lemon, sunshine, sunflowers, wish you well, the best, memories. I think I'm going to do sunshine. And there we go. That's super cute. And then we just can simply put this in our book. And then we have a really simple little tuck spot pocket. Um, just like I've been doing with my other kits, this will be on sale for the first week. So starting today um, until what is today, Monday, until next Monday, it'll be 50% off. And let me try and remember, I want to say that will be I don't remember exactly what the price was I listed it, but it's like $1.50 and not bad for all of these. Is that maybe it's a little more than that because I did kind of take into consideration the time it made, I made for the mixed media portion. And then like you could add a stamp here or you could add the date or you could put um, 
Another word right up there. It says great day. And here's a tag that I was working on. And that one has a butterfly too. <laughs> that looks perfect together. So yeah, um, I will have the link. Look at this, I just wanna show you this too. I will have the link below uh, to my Etsy shop for this kit. But look at this. You can then, once you have cut and used the, the tags, look at all this fun bits and bobs that you can use for your rainbow journal or any, because there's all sorts of butterflies for any journal. And then you have all these really cool words. Yeah, I love it. And then you have these that you can use with journals too. So maybe you're not making a rainbow journal, but maybe, you are making like a purple journal or a floral or a nature journal. There's all sorts of um, fun things you can use. Valentine's Day when it comes back around. All right, so there is my latest kit. And um, I think they called it mixed media cards or something. It'll be the new one. <laughs> Um, all right, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments, and I hope you have a wonderfully crafty day. Thanks. Bye.